guys, how's it going? I'm giving you a little forewarning here. So I've been editing my video and I made a mistake. Not that big of a deal, I'm sure you'll understand. I'm new to gardening and sharing my experience with you guys. And so we are going to be working with snake plants. So forgo any future mention of spider plants because these are in fact not spider plants, but snake plants. I hope you enjoy the video. Have a great night, enjoy. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special video for you and we are going to be propagating some spider plants. So I have here in this little bowl, these little cuttings that I made a few weeks ago of a spider Snake plant. plant. Um, and they have been propagating in a bit of water and some of the rooting hormone. Um, and so now I'll show you up close. You can probably see here that they're ready to root. Well, <laughs> they've rooted, so they're ready to be planted. Um, here's another one. So they're ready to be planted. So I'm going to show you what I have laid out and then I'm gonna be uh, zooming in on the process so you can watch along. Okay, you guys, so this is what I have laid out here. I have some fresh soil. I have my little propagation here. Sorry, let me just make that straight. Um, I have my little rooted spider plants and the pots that they're going to go into. So these are going to sit in these smaller pots for now until they root. And another thing I wanna note is that you can see here, so these plants have like a little scoop to them. You can probably see if I angle it this way. So what will most likely happen is a new uh, spider plant baby will most likely come out from the rooted, like from the scoop side. So going this way. So the reason why we're also using these smaller cups here is to put the plant in and get an estimate of where it's going to grow from. That way when we transfer it into a bigger pot, we can actually plant it and have things uh, be symmetrical and, and make sure that the plant is going to be growing in the proper direction. So um, I'm just gonna start here now. So I'm gonna fill my tiny pot just a little bit um, you want to make sure that you're not putting too much soil at the beginning so this is about a third of the way up because you don't want to damage uh, the roots and like push down so you want to kind of uh, fill it up a bit gauge approximately how deep you're going to want your plant to sit in so I'd say about a thumb of the way deep so a thumb length or yeah of the way deep maybe less than that maybe about a half of your thumb in deep so I can afford to put a little bit more soil in here because I'm not quite there yet okay so now I'm gonna lay this on the ground I'm going to put my plant in the center here yeah that seems about right maybe just a touch more I'm gonna just make a little bit of a circular motion in the center there. And then from here, I'm going to position my spider plant in the dead center and hold it into position, not pushing down because you don't wanna put damage on the roots. And I'm just going to slowly cover the plant on all directions. Okay, if you make a little bit of a mess, that's the fun part about gardening. And then I'm just lightly pressing and compacting the soil. You don't want to compact it too tightly because that can damage the roots as well. So just a light little push in. Okay. So that seems pretty good for our first one. Maybe a little bit more soil here on the side. Make it nice and pretty. You wanna also, when you're gardening, it's a really good practice to just be sending your plants some love because it's a, it's a time for you to connect with your plants. So 
here we've got our first one all set up in its little home for the next little while. I'm going to put it here so you can see. And then I'll do all the other ones now. So same thing. Put a bit of soil in. Now I'll do one of the stickier ones. <laughs> like the stick looking ones. Okay. Again, small little hole in the center. I'm going to take this guy. You can see the roots there. I'm going to put it now in the on the table. I'm going to find the center. I can afford to put a little bit more soil inside. And I'll just make the hole. Okay. So you can see I'm placing it in the middle here. And then I'm just going to lightly start tapping the soil around. You can probably hear the little birds chirping in the trees. It's another thing I love to feed my birds every morning and they wait for me actually it's quite cute they wait for me in the tree behind me because uh, they know that when i come outside on the patio it's food time <laughs> hey sammy boy don't know if you can see my dog's tail wagging below the table there he likes to be on the patio too he chases the squirrels away all right, now let's do this little monster here. It's a big one. So with this, you wanna make sure that you're actually, so I filled it up a little bit more cause I feel like I can afford to, but um, I'm just going to make a lengthwise groove. I don't know if you can see that. Um, lengthwise so that it's actually going to fit perfectly now in the center and I'm going to fill it up. Just lightly press it down. Now, these are really beautiful plants to have because A, they can propagate, therefore you're actually, you can grow more by cutting it and, and making little trimmings. Um, you wanna make sure that it's like a little bit of an older plant too that way I don't think it's good to propagate little baby plants because they're they're not quite mature enough so you just want to make sure that you've had the plant for a little bit before you start cutting and propagating it at least for the spider plants is my intuitive instinct um, just because they get a little bit thicker which helps with uh, the propagation um, and they're also really good for the air quality of your home. So they're really good uh, air purifiers to have in your home. Uh, so that's a bonus. You know, nature takes care of us, so we should take care of it. All right, let's do this one next. So this was the top of the plant you can see. It was uh, right at the top there. So again, I'm just going to make a um, horizontal slit across that way it can fit completely fill it up Remove the little excess around the edge. Voila! And then for our final little baby. See, this takes no time at all too. So, I mean, for people who think that gardening takes forever, it's not entirely true. And regardless of the amount of time it takes, you're 
contributing to your own personal health and well-being by caring for plants. It really does put you in a state of care and compassion and, and love, which is a healthy energy to be in. So, you know, don't see your gardening as a chore that you have to do. It should be a process that is enjoyable, relaxing, and gets you to connect with nature, get your hands dirty. You know, especially city people. City people don't like to get their hands dirty. <laughs> it's so funny. Little healthy soil never hurt anybody. In fact, it's actually probably better for your immune system. Kids who play outside and eat dirt are actually much healthier because they have a healthier biodome in their gut. And so they're able to combat illnesses and sickness a lot better. So that's also a note. So let your kids play in dirt and lick their fingers if they want to. All right, this is the final one. Voila. So I'm gonna do a little quick zoom in so you can see. Um, but first, I'm gonna go get a little water jug and top these babies up. Okay, so I have my water jug. I also found this really nice vintage uh, plate here that I'm going to move the soil out of the way that later. But I'm going to put them on this tray here so that um, they can all kind of line up nicely and they have holes at the bottom of these uh, little containers so you want to make sure that you have something at the bottom so that the water uh, doesn't fall everywhere, fall out of the pot. And it's also really important to, oops, see what I mean? <laughs> it's also really important to water them after because the soil will compress and you'll see right away if you need to add a little bit more soil to your pot. So I might add a little bit here. Um, and while they're at this uh, stage in infancy, you want to make sure that you're watering these quite often, like probably daily, just for a little bit until they can root into the soil because you have to remember that they've been propagating in entirely water to develop those roots, right? So to shock them um, too much wouldn't be a good idea. And by that I mean removing them entirely from their water source in a sense. So I'm just gonna add and top off each of these little guys with a bit more soil because the watering compressed it a little bit. And then that way. I know that they're all good. A little touch more here. There we go. Hey little birdie. That's another thing, eh? Always talk to the little creatures that come and visit you at your home. They'll get a, a sense of your voice. I call them every morning. I say, birdies. And now, since I've been doing that for a little while, they recognize my voice. I'm pretty sure, at least. And they come to be fed, <laughs> if they're not already in the tree. Um, so yeah, just taking this time to connect with nature on a daily basis. I think it's so, so healthy. Good for your um, emotional well-being. It's a very spiritual process. And they appreciate it. Oh, once I'm done, I'll show you the little bird. He's eating his dinner. And the bird feeder behind me. Okay. A little bit more on this side. Okay, final little touch of water. Nice and slow. Oops. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Then this one. We're going a different angle here get the last little bit. Okay. 
And there you have it. Five new little spider plant babies that are going to mature someday into big plants. Oh, dirt on my face. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this little propagation video. And so I'll be keeping you up to date with these little guys and on their evolution and growth. And I'll be keeping you uh, up to date on another video for when they're ready to move into a bigger pot. So stay tuned for that. And uh, stay tuned, I'll show you some of these birds. <laughs> While I wait for some birds to come, here are some peonies that I actually uh, planted last year. They didn't flower last year, um, and I don't even think they got this big last year. Um, but they are doing so well. Peonies are my favorite flowers. Well, one of them. Um, I just think they're so beautiful and I'm so excited. Look at this little bud. Oh my gosh. I can't wait These are gonna look so good on the patio um, I'm gonna be setting them up too for my yoga videos coming up soon. So stay tuned for those as well Okay, another trick with bird watching is you have to be super patient and I've always noticed it's so funny. It's almost as if like if you pretend they're not there, they come. <laughs> but they are getting better. They are definitely getting closer to me. Pigeons come too and I feed them out of my hands, which is really nice. But I'm just going to wait here and see if they come. Try to get a little zoom. You know, and while you wait for your birds to come, you can take some nice, long, deep breaths like we talked about on my last walk with you guys on the park or in the park when I was making that chia seed pudding, if you haven't watched it. I was expressing how important it is to take long, 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 deep breaths. I think I even said five seconds, but try to even reach like eight, nine, maybe even 10 seconds on the inhale and really fill up your lungs. Oh, we've got a little baby. Where is it? There it is. They have the most beautiful song too. Pretty sure he's calling his mates. Hey yo guys, dinner time. Voila. Patience, my friends. I also get a few sterlings that come. I get cardinals. I have blue jays that come once in a while. Just a really nice process. So I encourage you guys to get a bird feeder. I'm pretty sure I manifested this one. I was just, uh, one of my, my first bird feeder broke. Um, and then I was thinking to myself, oh man, I wish I had a nice, beautiful wooden bird feeder. So I was out for a walk one evening. Sure enough, someone left a nice wooden bird feeder on the side of the road for donation, obviously, so I took it home. And so you can manifest just about anything in your life. Oop. I still have dirt on my face. <laughs> All right, I'm going to call this video Finito, wash my hands, make a tea, and watch the sunset. So I hope you guys enjoyed this propagation video. Little birdie's back. He looks like a little baby, to be honest. Oh, already gone. Okay, so I hope you guys have a fantastic evening. Stay tuned for the update on these little spider plants and the peonies to come. Have a great evening, guys. Bye.